Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Luxo and the L16 testnet. If you like this kind of content, you should definitely stay till the end of this video. Check out all our social medias and, you know, enjoy it for what it is. But you need to remember one thing. It's not financial advice. We don't accept liabilities for losses that you might incur. And everything here is strictly for news research and educational purposes. So with that in mind, you'll be able to enjoy this video. So guys, we're in a bear market. Everyone's sad. You can see it on my eyes. I've been getting beaten down by these bears cry but it's okay it's not the end of the world At the end of the day if number only went up we'd be in a bubble so this is basically things deflating a bit and that's why it's so important that during a bear market you tether up and you make sure you're holding projects that you feel comfortable holding and that's why we're talking about luxo today we saw the l15 testnet start and recently someone sent me something very interesting and it had to do with the fact that the L16 network had a pull request. And usually a pull request, like I'm, I'm not that very, I'm not aware of coding or how that works, but it's to my understanding that that's basically the beginning of them starting to go to their second phase of testnet, which for me, I have a belief that if they are starting a pull request on L16, it means that they are more or less not finished L15, but they have a good chunk of it ready. So in order for them to start the next stage, I would assume that they're pretty close to finishing the previous one. And while I don't understand all the intricacies of it, I do understand that, you know, uh, we're, we're, we might be heading into the next phase of Luxo soon. And L16 is basically the test net the genesis basically right before mainnet so right before it becomes its own blockchain it's going to have multiple tests and this is the second test to make sure that it's ready for a full-scale launch this was brought up to me by someone in in a group and a private luxo group or whatnot and i appreciate that they brought this up to me or that they brought it up in general in the group it means a lot because this is something that i most people wouldn't really notice right away. And that's why I kind of wanted to mention it into mention it in a video is that we could be starting our next stage. And in that next stage, it's basically, it's basically saying to me that we might be on schedule to have our main net up as a Luxo, as a Luxonian, as a, as a Luxo man, hopefully by summer or spring, late spring, early summer. That's, that's what I'm thinking. And as you can see right here, he opened a pull request in the Luxo network. And there's been a lot of private contributions. And they like it was mentioned to me that a lot of Luxo's development on GitHub has been through private contributions, which it almost seems to me like they're privately building it up because they don't want to hype. They're not hype, like a hype train. They're more of like a get shit done and then show people the result kind of train. And that's something that I really respect about this team and this project is that if they're privately working and grinding, it means way more to me than people were just shilling. Like one of the things that I, I remember was just listening to like uh, Charles Hoskinson talk, the founder of ADA and like this guy just talks and he talks and he talks and it's like, yo, like shut the fuck up, get some shit out. You know what I mean? How long did it take for smart contracts to happen? And I feel like I feel like they're not moving nearly as fast as they should. And to be honest, for me, like I don't really like Cardano that much. I'm not a big fan of, of the project, mostly because the guy just keeps talking. Obviously, who am I to really speak because he's got a huge project going and I'm a YouTube dude, but the reality is I stand by it. Something like Luxo will definitely blow Cardano out of the water considering how fast they're actually moving and with less time. So Cardano has been around for four or five years. Luxo launched in 2020, like officially launched in 2020. And they've already, in my opinion, done more in that time. So big change, big difference. Like here, you can see here, Genesis active, validator count one. So there's one validator node officially out. So that's like the beginning, the first one. And then from here, it's like, well, we have a hundred Genesis validators. And this is from their, their GitHub, right? So. That's why I kind of wanted to, because like I don't really know this stuff that well, 
but other coders who are watching this diligently have basically taken the time to explain this briefly. And like, like right here, like you see open pull request, 14 contributions, 95 private contributions, five pull requests. Sandrum, this is the guy that's doing a lot of, of the requesting and a lot of and a lot of the private uh, work. 20 private contributions, 41 private contributions, 105 pro uh, private contributions, 53 private contributions. Look at this. There's a lot of private activity going on and that's a good sign. That's a good sign simply because it shows that even when they're not getting recognized for all this work, they're still being active. And not just active, but the people that are active because it's a relatively small team that's working on Luxo it appears like they're they're just grinding in silence. And that was basically what I've seen so far and definitely keeping my eyes peeled for any announcements from the Luxo team and definitely appreciate if they're watching the people from the Luxo group. Thank you for pointing that out to me. I really appreciate it. And it'll it's things like that that'll really continue to bring Luxo into not just the spotlight, but bring awareness to the people that are actually following in the community. And naturally too, if uh, like if my, if I'm a little bit flat nowadays, you know, it's a bear market, it happens. We're, we're gonna be a bit flat as crypto YouTubers because we're watching this bloodbath, but not just that, we're the guys that everyone's, you know, messaging to say like, hey, what's happening? And it's like, all right, it's a lot, a lot of information to be not just receiving, but also like people just like throwing at you right you're taking everyone's energy and you're constantly talking to them about what's happening in crypto it it does take a lot of energy out of you because you're you end up the guy that a lot of people call if you see me flat just know that i still love y'all and i appreciate your like your viewership and and the community that we're building more or less uh we've been working on building our discord up more and more it's almost pretty much ready for a public launch now we're just hammering out some of the last things, like some issues with the permissions that we're, that we're more or less finishing off, but it's, it's about ready. And then after that, you'll be able to subscribe to a membership to our channel. And from there, you know, we're, we're looking to build up our community. So people that want to be part of the community, feel free to join. We're in the, we're in the, the period now where we're expanding it and we just want people to help us build it. So we hope you enjoyed this video and, you know, keep an eye out on the JIT hub for Luxo and, Maybe you'll get some, you, maybe you'll get the scoop before I could even give it to you. All right, guys. So thanks again for watching. I appreciate you. Take care.